Hi everyone, and welcome. It's me, Joseph the Lycanroc Ranger. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing why Ammonite is being a problem in the Galar region. So, without any further ado, let's roll the intro, and let's get started. So one quick thing before I get started, that being that works and images used will be in the description of the video. So the first thing to discuss is the actual Pokedex entry from Pokemon Sword, which reads, Because some Ammonite managed to escape after being restored or are released into the wild by people, this species is becoming a problem. The interesting thing here is, as while presumably something similar happened to the other fossils in the Crown Tundra at least, only Ammonite is cited as being a problem for some reason. So to figure out why this is, let's see what Ammonite, and then Amastar later, eats. So Ammonite eats plankton according to Crystal, and I don't even want to discuss how plankton, something that can be an animal, is still a thing in the Pokemon world, but it gives us a decent baseline to look at. Then, moving on to Amastar, it specifically mentions eating Shelter in some entries, like in Heart Gold, but is more generic in others, such as in Ultra Moon. The next thing to analyze would be what eats Ammonite and Amastar. Well, based on two entries in Ultra Sun, we can see that Ammonite was eaten by Archaeops, and both were eaten by Caracosta. The final item to go over would be where they are in Galar, as that's the only region we can really discuss in terms of them being in the wild. Where we can promptly see that in the Roaring Sea Caves, none of their natural predators are present, and in the Giant's Foot, only the pre-evolved, not even the evolved form of one of their predators is present. And even then, only one of them, not both. This allows us to get a general idea for why Ammonite and Amastar become rather good invasive species in the modern day. They are predatory animals, with few to none of their normal predators being present where they are, at least in Galar, and while it is possible that another Pokemon could help fill that niche eventually, there is no current evidence for it, leading to the idea that they are being a problematic invasive species. So what do you think of my analysis of Ammonite and Amastar being invasive species? Let me know in the comments down below. Do you think that I missed any important information on this front? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye!